Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time. If you're wondering why I'm going so fast, it's because we have to get this part done quickly, or this part that we're going to be working on right now quickly. Okay, so, um, for just for reasons later. So, you see these frogs, one of them's really tiny and the other one's really big. That's because I've been, you, you're supposed to play all the small songs that aren't warp songs to them, so you can make them bigger. And the only one I haven't played is Zelda's Lullaby. And so I basically just skipped ahead to the other, from the other ones, since uh, it's just a waste of time. And so, um, so yeah, like, uh, basically you have to play the Sun Song, you know, Song of Time, Surya Song, all that stuff, and make them all big again, and every time you play a song for one of them, they will give you 50 rupees, which is pretty pointless by this time in the game. And then once they're all big, they will pretty much, like, play a little mini-game with us. We're all huge frogs, we're the world-famous, fabulous frog. Ribbit, okay, whatever. Then we can so we can eat the bugs flying above us. Ribbit. Okay, then, ready, set, go. And, whoops, you just have to, well, first of all, I have to be good at the game, which I'm not, I always freaking mess this up. Uh, let's see, dude, oh, bull, I pressed the right button, I swear to God. Finally, yes, God, how many takes was that, like a billion? Oh, my God, okay. Finally, we got this freaking heart piece. That's number, like, uh, 32 or something like that. We only got, like, three or four more in the game to get, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, once we get all those, we'll have, you know, most of our... Well, all of our heart containers, and we're going to get... Uh, well... <sighs> what am I trying to say here? Anyway, we're going to go to Zora's Domain, because I missed a Gold Cthulhu before, back, like, way in part a long time ago, so um, I'm going to go show you where that is right now. Okay, so you might remember this as the place that we got for Wind. And it actually is the place, and if you bonk into this tree right here, you get a gold clue that comes out. So, uh, yeah, just, sorry I missed that before, I just, uh, had to come back for it now. And now I'm going to see you back in Kakariko, because that is our next des destination, so see you there. Okay, so here we are in Kakariko Village, and we're actually here at the well, which we've been at before. But, um, yeah, like, sorry I've been so hasty in this part, just trying to get stuff done quickly, because you'll see why. So, go over here and make sure you have the Song of Storms split for this guy in the past. And, uh, it'll make the windmill start going all super fast, just like he said happened when we learned the Song of Storms from him in the future. So, um, that's pretty much what we just did now. And in doing this, we actually drain the water from that well that we saw when we met Sheik here in the last part. And this is going to allow us access into this well as only a child, but not as an adult. So, uh, let's go ahead and go in there. And, uh, this is why I've been so hasty in this part, because I want to get as much of this dungeon done as possible. Or this mini dungeon, I suppose. But, um, now, like, I really, I've been trying to keep the dungeons in, the start of the starts of dungeons in separate videos, just for convenience sake. And holy crap motorcycle just sped past my house. But, you know, I live on a main street, so I guess it's common. But, um, anyway, yeah, this is the bottom of the well. And, uh, it's just a mini dungeon in, uh, that we're gonna have to go to before we head to the Shadow Temple. Because we're gonna get a very important item in here. And the main gimmick about these, like, Shadow Dungeons are fake walls. Like, so... So, uh, yeah, there's gonna be all sorts of walls that, uh, we can actually pass through, but the, it's, to the naked eye, it looks like we can't. And creeping up around here pretty soon should be a green bubble. Uh, he should be coming up here pretty soon. We'll just use Deku Nuts to stun him when he does. Where is he? Oh, well. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and play... The first thing you want to do in this dungeon is play Zelda's Lullaby right here, so let's do that. Oh god! That kinda scared me! <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to come... I thought he went the other way. The other direction. Oh well. Um, so... Let's see what's in this pot. Oh gee, bombs. That was worth it. Okay, so as you saw, we just drained all the water from here. And, uh... Oh. Okay, that was dumb of me. Um... There's actually some keys hidden around here, but uh, I'll forget it. I'll look for them later once we have the map, which we're going to go get. Uh, no, we're not going to get it right now. We're going to get the item that I said we need right now. And to be honest, this dun this mini dungeon, you barely even need to go in here. 
but yeah, I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, so yeah, um, how's your di your guys' day been? Been pretty busy lately because whoa, spiders. Um, because yeah, just uh, had actually like two really big tests in school. Uh, they're no, don't unfreeze. You suck. Bypass you. Yeah, we had two really big tests. Um. In Arizona, they're called AIMS, which stands for in Arizona's Institute to Measure the Standards. It's quite a mouthful. Oh, to initiate this boss battle, he just, uh, got by one of his hands. Preferably, he wouldn't freaking come up that close. You're uncomfortably close, mister. And you just wait for him to strike. But yeah, they're like these really big tests that, uh, you know, are required to graduate. And I have my math one and my biology test. Why isn't he chasing after me? But, um,. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. It's like, God, testing all day. But the freshmen, they get to go home. It's like, no, not us sophomores. And other people who didn't pass last year, I suppose. But, um, but, yeah, you know, just been busy. That's why I haven't been posting, like, so many videos this week. Like, sorry I've been going off schedule so much. Holy crap. But, uh, yeah, you know, just what happens sometimes, you know, don't always have time for games. I'm just kidding, we always have time for you. No, I'm just... Just goofing around here now. And oh my god, how many hits does this guy take? Let me go, dead hand. Which is the name of this enemy, by the way. And, oh, there we go. Wow, his chin is bigger than Bruce Campbell's. Um, so now we're gonna get the item in here. Woohoo! Alright, so that was pretty quick. The Lens of Truth. And what this does is lets you see through those fake walls and stuff. Like, any fake walls or <clears throat> any invisible platforms, which there are invisible ones, oh, excuse me, are, are going to be visible to us now that we have this handy dandy item. Handy dandy notebook. But, okay, so it looks like we have a few minutes for some other stuff here. Basically, once you have the Lens of Truth, um, if you want to, if, I'm going to be frank here, just, just leave the dungeon. The only thing left, oh, hey, bombs, the only thing left to do in this dungeon is simply, uh, Gold Skatula grinding. That's all there is to do besides getting the Lens of Truth. So, really, if you don't want all the Gold Skatulas, no. Then, um, this guy's actually pretty big, but he's not that intimidating at all. If you don't want the gold skatulas, um, then you might as well just freaking leave because, trust me, there's a lot better places to do go gold skatula grinding than this. Okay, so first off, if you're going to get all the gold skatulas, then you want to get the dungeon map. And, uh, let's go, go this way. There's, no, not the pot. There's lots of holes leading down to this lower floor, so, um, you know, it. It, they, they're used as traps, but there is a dungeon map down here that you're going to want to get, so... And there's where deads, too. Don't scream at me, please. But, yeah, the dungeon map will help you, it's along with the compass, because, uh, well, show you where all the treasure chests are and stuff like that, because we're going to need keys. Don't scream at me. You son of a bitch. Um... Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like my commentary is kind of going all over the place in this part. I don't know what it is, but... I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I'm just... Woohoo! Out of it today. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, you know, antsy from all the freaking test-taking. Like, ugh, God. And I've got, like, a project that I've been, uh, you know, working on and off on. A school project, not a video project. But, uh... Yeah, just, you know, lots of other stuff. Um, okay, so now that we have the dungeon map, we can... Ooh, here's one of those keys in the wall. And there's another key that's in the wall like this, too. We can go ahead and get the compass, which comes in handy as well. And it's actually in this chest right here. But you can't go through here because this just falls down to that room that we were before with the silver rupees. <laughs> So you're going to want to get the chest from over here. Okay, time to get the compass. 
in the bottom of the well. Okay, so we're gonna need like three small keys, I believe. And uh, let's go get the second one. Which is. Uh, we already got that one. It's in another chest in a room just like that. So I believe it's over here on this corner. Oh, alright. Good. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? We're coming up on the time limit, so, uh. Yeah, you know, until. I'm, I'm just gonna cut off here. Later.